r slash entitled parents. 1. Long time lurker first time poster. I have an entitled mother that I'm no contact with, and an entitled sister that I'm low contact with. My dumbass decided to let both know I'm pregnant and to kinda reconcile with entitled sister, so she came down for the birth. If faced with a choice again, I would prefer getting kicked in the face by a donkey. It was that enjoyable. Entitled sister invited herself to stay, without asking, for the entire first week of my son's life, under the guise of helping. Helping in this sense meant I not only recovered from a c-section and took care of a newborn, but entertained entitled sister and cooked for her or ordered us in food on my dime. I tried to be patient, to take pics of her with the baby and be gracious as she can't have kids. Lord I tried. Twice this week, I had a buffer in the form of a postpartum doula. She's been helping with techniques for child care, to put us on a schedule and such. Being childless and never having researched anything about child care, entitled sister picked up on two tips, wake windows and tummy time. All week she used both as reasons to tell me I'm failing at being a parent, because I'm not spending enough minutes doing either, and trying to control not only how I care for my child, but access to him as she insisted on holding him when it was time to put him down for a nap. Things came to a head one night when she was picking on me again and yelling at me that I'm not caring for him correctly because of wake windows. I firmly said you need to back off and you don't know what you're talking about. Things escalated until she told me that I'm a shit mom and don't pay attention to my child. She further said I couldn't use just giving birth as an excuse, it was 6 days after I had a c-section and was actively bleeding and in pain, that I'm making this experience about me and threatened to leave. I said good, nobody invited you to stay. Please do pack up and go. In the two days since, I've learned she tried to tell on me to my doula. She does not know that the doula and I had a conversation about these techniques, and she said it's good practice as they're not really recommended until week 6, it was day 6. Doula also said I'm doing great. Entitled sister also doesn't know my pediatrician isn't a fan of starting wake windows so early. Entitled sister is now texting my boyfriend playing victim and saying she and the doula believe I have postpartum, and it's worrisome, I'd kick her out. Neither the doula nor my boyfriend or anyone else thinks I have postpartum or am acting strange. No bitch, I just don't think I have to deal with your shit when you don't know what you're talking about. Boyfriend is now trying to play peacemaker, but I'm ready to write her off and go no contact after this experience. Thanks for reading my rant. So a few days after a letter was served to egg donor about the charges to her and her perverted spawn, she proceeded to try and sell off some electronics, a Kindle, a digital art pad and stylus, and a pair of headphones. Thank god I had an anti-thief software on my Kindle, knowing if I had left it, she would eventually sell it off or destroy it. The software got activated when the person whom my mother sold it to tried to open the Kindle with the wrong password my mother had given them. After 3 tries, the software locked itself and had a message popped up that said that the owner, me, has been notified of the possible break-in. It also says if you acquired this Kindle by buying it off someone that is not the owner, please do not sell it off, as the owner will come to pick it up. Truth be told, I went to pick up my Kindle, art pad and stylus, and headphones. Egg donor sold all of them at the same place. So I bought them back at the same price that they gave to Egg Donor. Apparently the salesman also called Egg Donor, and she asked for the Kindle back. I ignored her message. Later when I got back to the home, I got a text from my coach. Here's how that went, see, coach, me, me. See, you ran away? Me, what? See, your mom's here saying you ran away and she came to get your equipment. Me, question mark? C. She says you got into a disagreement and ran away, and you might have come here to steal your equipment. She asked if you have come by recently. C. What is going on? Me. I am suing her for abuse, and my brother for sexual harassment. She has just been served the lawyer's letter. She just sold off my Kindle, and now is trying to probably sell off my equipment because she thinks she owns them. All my equipment up until now. I have paid in full with my own savings, 
or was won from competitions, or as rewards from my coach or club. See, okay. I'm going to call the police. Will that impact your case? Me, I don't know. But please do not tell her I haven't collected it, and do not let her leave until the police get there. And do not let her touch my equipment please. I'll come by to get them tomorrow. See, okay. I called the police. One minute later. See, she now says she messaged you and you said you want to sell your equipment. Me, she is a lying piece of shit. Please do not let her into the shed. See, okay. See, you should probably come and get your equipment in like 15 minutes. The police are here. So I went to my training grounds with my dad and my lawyer, as a witness, or to tell me if anything I say or interact with her could be detrimental to my case, and she was shouting and arguing with the officers. She sees me and immediately says there. She's my daughter. You can ask her. She made a beeline for me. My dad, my coach, and the officer literally came between me and her. My coach bellowed, like he may be considerably tiny but he had a very very deep and loud voice. Back the fuck away. Now. The whole place could hear him. My egg donor got stunned and jumped back. The officer arrested her while she was still stunned. She was dragged off into the police car. She continued to shout that she knows her rights, and that they can't do anything because I'm her daughter. I collected my equipment and any other things I leave there, small accessory that we are supposed to wear for competitions, but don't when we are training. Edit, for those who haven't read my past post or are not very clear what has went down before this incident. Let me clarify. 1. Egg donor is my biological mother. But I will not refer to her as such, because she hasn't done anything in my life to show she is a parent to me. So no, she is not my mother, she is the lady who donated her egg to make me. 2. The reason for the charge is I am charging her perverted spawn, my brother, with sexual harassment because he took videos of me changing and sent them to his friends to watch. In those videos, you could see my naked ass and breast. 3. The point up until perverted spawn took those videos, egg donor has also done many many things I now know are not normal things you do or are done to you when you're growing up. I.e., I didn't know they were acts of mental and emotional abuse. 4. I am now in contact with my father. He is intent on helping me with this lawsuit and has hired lawyers for me and himself. He is suing egg donor for parental alienation, because she manipulated him into leaving us behind, and then turned around and told us and everyone else he fled. I hope this clarifies anyone's doubts and confusion. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you like the video, and subscribe if you want to see more like it. Comment below if you know any subreddits that you would like featured on the channel. See you in the next video, fellow Roma.